Stay away from Paldea Evolved right now. I'm going to tell you guys exactly why. Paldea is a super strong set from Scarlet and Violet, and this Magikarp is taking off right now. We're going to look at some of the cards that are taking off, and we're going to talk about why I think you guys should be avoiding this set right now. It's just my personal opinion. might be a hot take, but it, I mean, it does sort of make sense. Now, first off, before we jump into these singles that you guys see here, we're going to take a look at the booster box prices. Now, 100 it's a, it's around a, just under $130 for a Paldea booster box currently and one of the last solds was 135 so you know it's a it's an uptick from 130 so what we can see that here if we open this up this is TCG player by the way now these these boxes have been holding steady since late May so pretty much a full month that they've been at the $128 range, showing a lot of strength. Now, you guys may be asking yourselves why I'm saying to stay away. Now, it's it's kind of simple if you guys have been around. Uh, if you haven't, I'm just gonna, I'll educate you real quick. Now, nothing is guaranteed, so keep that in mind. But uh, what Pokemon, the Pokemon company has shown us recently and in the past, based off of historical trends, is that this set is very very likely to get reprinted and that's just the way they operate and when you take into account you guys need to take into account what they are doing on the Japanese side they are not afraid to print into the ground I'm not saying that that's gonna happen with English I don't think it is but I do think that Paldea is slated for a reprint and I've talked about it before but I'm gonna talk about it again because the Magikarp let's look at the Magikarp Stunning card. Love this card. I don't have this card in English. I have it in Japanese because it's much more affordable. That's just, I got it in a 10 in Japanese for like 60 bucks. I'm happy enough with that for now. I'll get the English later and I'm going to tell you guys why. So you can see here we're at the $150 range with the listed uh, average price at, you know, 160 Beautiful looking card. Love Magikarp. Love the hidden Gyarados in the background, right? So um, I like the card, but if we're going to get a reprint, the reason, part of the reason that this card is so valuable, and we're going to look at the PSA 10 prices as well, but part of why this card is so valuable is because the print run is so poor on it. It's so hard to get a 10, right? And with that reprint, potentially, comes higher print quality. It's not guaranteed to, if you look at some of the newer sets, the print quality, the print runs have been better. So you guys have to keep this in mind. We gotta, we gotta keep in mind what's been going on. Even if the print quality wasn't, you know, like immensely better, but if it's still better, and there's a one, there's gonna be more of these cards in the wild. Two, the quality is gonna be better. So the ten prices is probably gonna tank a lot more than the raw price. So keep that in mind. But I just, you know, I, I do enjoy seeing these Scarlet and Violet era cards also seeing their due. I, I, you know, the Greninja, that's a crazy story in and of itself right now. I think that's a bubble that's going to pop personally, but it's crazy. I don't think that's going to be the Moombreon of this era, but uh, just it's cool to see we have some Scarlet and Violet cards holding value, and that's really nice. And the Magikarp is, you know, I think one of the best examples, but I think I think that's going to change with the reprint. I just historically we we've gotten reprints on sets like this, and yeah, but um, it is cool to see it moving up the chart. Props, props to you guys who got it back here. You know, good job appreciate like good work you know um so just just keep that in mind this is just my opinion but i did want to talk about a few other cards from this set that are currently on the up and i've talked about the starters from this set before in other videos right it's and my uh take from that comes mainly from the horizon show the new show it features the starters heavily so i still think that all these starter cards are undervalued but the skeledurge starting to see a little bit of a bump right we're seeing a little bit of a run-up right here and albeit dollar wise it's not that much but percentage wise it's nothing to sneeze at right so just keep that in mind i just wanted to show show you that the skeleturge you could have had it at 12 three months ago uh but it's up to 15. so i like seeing you know we're seeing so many cards with the downturn right now because you know we hit that that peak things downturned you know and they level off and you know they might take off again but it's nice to see some cards that are still currently moving so that excites me if we uh you know, it's not, if we pull the one year up, it's about at its one year high. So uh, that's cool. Good for the Skeleturge. Skeleturge. 
Um, then there's the Heracross. Check this, check this thing out. Same thing. Dollar-wise, not, but percentage-wise, huge gains. You could have had this for seven dollars, and now, and this thing's on a, on a up, right? Twelve sixty, but listed median price is sixteen, and we have sales down here at eighteen dollars for the Heracross, right? Gen two Pokemon, cool artwork. Once again, Scarlet and Violet has the best artwork we've ever gotten. I'll fight anybody on it, right? Sudowoodo, same thing, right? So these are Pokemon that I uh, also, I really adore some of these Gen 2, Gen 1, Gen 2 is kind of like my main jam. Personally, I'm learning to appreciate, and, and Gen 3, but uh, I'm appreciating all the newer generations as well, but, you know, soft spot for Gen 1, Gen 2. Sudowoodo, same thing. You could have picked this up at the lowest, you know, for, uh, you know, six, six bucks, but we're at 13, over doubled. There was a sale right here for 1470 um listed average price is 15 so expect this to continue to rise it is cool to see we got the foy coco same thing not as much of a jump here you could have picked it up around uh sub 10 or around 10 bucks and now we're at 12 30 but we do have this is an interesting sale a lightly played at 14 anyways not the biggest gain on the foy coco but once again adorable pokemon from the show just saying and he's kind of go it goes with the skeleturge so it makes sense that this is moving a little um, I missed this earlier, but we'll just we'll tie back to this. Uh, these are our last solds for the Magikarp in a PSA 10. Just wanted to touch on that while we were here. 700 crossed out, so we don't know what this actually went for. I'm assuming in the six, you know, 650 range, as we can see right here, we got 649. Uh, and then these were the Japanese ones, like I told you that I got uh, 80. I picked mine up around 60 a while ago. But you know, I if I've said this before too, this is off topic but related if you guys can be happy with japanese cards or other language cards simplified chinese korean whatever right you can get the same artwork in a 10 for so much for a tenth of the price <laughs> so as a collector if you can do that that's the best way to collect uh it gives you, you your dollars will go way further uh that's that you know that's a topic for another discussion though but um yeah that uh that is gonna do it for paldea evolved i just wanted to do an update check on paldea i thought it needs its props it needs its dues and i do respect what it's doing i respect the set i like there's so many i still so many undervalued cards but i just wanted to talk about how i am staying away from it stay away that's just my opinion take take it take it or leave it but uh let me know what you guys think of Paldea in the comments down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.